Good morning, world. It is 4.09 in the morning. Hope you guys enjoyed my three-video marathon I did yesterday. I slept again for a good, like, I went to bed at, like, 4 o'clock, and I slept till 2 this morning. Today I'm happy. Tomorrow midnight, Friday midnight, I get my check, my check on freezes. So I'll be happy. I can get my smokes and like slices of pizza at nighttime. Can't get beer because after eleven o'clock they can't. They don't. You can't buy beer, right? So at midnight, with my check on freezes, I can get a nice pack of smokes. And I can get um, slices of pops. Because Bob's open is open even. Closes to like at two o'clock in, in the morning. I can get some nice slices of bobs in the morning, obviously. Yeah. In a good like ten minutes, I'm gonna go upstairs and get my coffee. Cause I brewed some coffee earlier. So if you don't want to wait, skip the video, guys. As I usually say, cause I skip the videos whenever I watch. I don't like waiting. I just skip the videos. Skip it to a good minute and a half, two minutes. I should be riding back in my room. Sometimes three minutes. Minute and a half, two minutes, two and a half minutes, three minutes. I should be riding back in my room. Yeah. So I'm going to keep talking about this major stuff. I, I love when talking about the majors. Yeah. There's a high chance I will perhaps choose the major trilogy over my four movies. I'm just being honest here. I'd rather be the one kicking ass and be, be a secret agent in the Great Escape. And do that romance in their knee story. And the Hidden Valley movie and their knee and all of them are good movies, but they're not going to be as good as the, the Matrix trilogy. You see what I'm saying? The life of the one in the Matrix as a kid, and he, grow, he grows up in the Matrix, and the agents don't know he's the one. And they get suspicious of him, and uh, Morpheus Great Grandson frees his mind. And the story ends off when he goes in the Matrix, he gets killed, obviously. And then he comes back to life as a new, a new man. He's the one he can ask. Like an amazing story. Yeah, and the one deals with the loss of, of his friends. The second movie, he loses his two friends, obviously, and that leads to his depression. And the third movie is five years later. He has a beard, obviously, and he's, he's older and more mature, and he defeats Smith upon the Frog. What an amazing story. Yeah. I don't know really what I want the second and third movie to be about. The only thing I can think of is that um, it's a couple years later. Smith grew in power, obviously. And, and and I grow in power, obviously. And Smith is able to clone himself. But this time, even though Smith can clone himself, he's still plugged in the Matrix. Whereas in the second movie, because Neil des Neil destroyed Smith in the first movie, um, 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 Smith was no longer plugged in the, in, 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 in the Matrix, obviously. He's still an agent, but he's no longer plugged like he was in the first one. Whereas those other agents who had the green suits, they were plugged in the Matrix. So my idea for the second movie is Neil Smith is still plugged in the Matrix, but he's also able to clone himself because he's 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 he updated. He's more advanced than what he even was before in, in the originals. So Sarah, now I'm gonna make sure I hire the right men to play the agents. Don't hire some cheesy fucking guy like Resurrections. So but Mr. Adams, you had that like 27 year old guy. No, make sure that the agents look very scary and formidable, like the, the, the ones in the originals. Uh, guys, make sure you hire, I'm going to make sure you, you put out a casting call for good agents, for good people to play the agents. Those people who play the agents are minor characters. Pay them a nice 200K. It's a good paycheck for them. 200K for minor roles, the agents. And the, I'm thinking the fist actor in Daredevil is good for that movie, but I'm going to, I can have him be in the movie, but he has, to, I have to have the, the aging technology for him. And for the fighting sequences, I'll hire stunt doubles to do the fighting sequences. Some Sarah, do that. Do the fighting sequences, and I am the one, obviously, kicking ass. But I think he's perfect for Smith. Well, what concerns me is his age. Okay, if 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 you want to be on board, you have you have to, I have to have stunt doubles for you for your fighting sequences, and you ha I have to have them put the aging technology to make him look younger, to make him look like he's in his like fifties. I'm saying. Or I can just hire someone else who's younger to play Agent Smith. We'll see what happens. I'm saying. 
I have who's good for Agent Smith. I don't know. The best man I can think of is the fifth actor in there, but he's old. He's also he's the same age as Hugo Weaving. He's sixty three. Hugo Weaving sixty three. They're all aging people. Hence why what? You know what I'm saying? Was Hugo Weaving was only like in his forties, man, when he did The Matrix. He was younger back then. Hence why he was able to do all those fight scenes. But now he's 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 what? He's he's older. He's sixty three. He'll be older. You could have Hugo Weaving. You brought bring him back if you want. You can bring Hugo Weaving back, but I want I want the, the the new the new Smith to look different, obviously. Just like the new one is a different seed, the new Smith looks different. Seems there. You could bring Hugo Weaving back if you want, but he'll be he'll be like old, he'll be in his seventies, and you're gonna have to put the aging technology in for, for 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 what for Hugo Weaving if you want. But I mean, I think the Fist actor is scarier than than, than Hugo Weaving, to be honest. Remember him as Fist, how freaky he was? Yeah, man. Imagine him with glasses and he's the new Smith on back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, something's scary. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? He's more, he looks a bit more scary. Hugo Weaving has more of that agent look, obviously, but the other guy looks more formidable. The guy from Daredevil, Fist. Remember him as Fist? You felt for, yeah, you felt for Daredevil. Yeah, he's freaky, man. He has these glasses and he's like, I'm back. Any anomalies? You know what I'm saying? He's like, no anomalies. Last anomaly, the name was Neo. Deceased a hundred years ago, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so the agents can sense. The agents, the agents know that the, the last anomaly known was Neo. And he's deceased, obviously. He died a hundred years ago. So Sarah. Yeah, I'm gonna start at the beginning of the movie off with the flashbacks. You get the flashback of 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 of, of, of Neo when, when he gets that call from Morpheus. Who who is this? You know who I am. Morpheus are after you, and you see these he's you know what I'm saying? You get the flashback of his life, obviously, when he dies. And, he's like, and I ended off where he's like, the agent Smith has grown beyond control. You know what I'm saying? You cannot stop him, but I can. You know what I'm saying? And if you fail, I won't. And it shows a scene where, where Neil lets Smith cock his onto him. And it's Neil Smith's, virus Smith's spirit lived on. Just like Neil's spirit lived on. Because even though Neil's body died, his spirit lived on. Obviously, he's the one. Remember the Oracle said, yeah, Neil's still watching us. Yeah, and the virus Smith still lives on. That's the only way you can bring the Smith back. And there's a deja vu in the Matrix, and there's a glitch. And the beginning starts off, you have this couple. You have this couple, obviously. It starts off with this couple, obviously. They're, 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 they take the kid They take the kid to like an event or something like that. They're having fun, and they drive back home. And they, when, they, when they open the door, the glitch happens, obviously. And then they open the door, and they see this brick wall. Like, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? The Oracle is like, holy shit, there's a glitch in the Matrix. And the Agent Smith comes back, obviously. And that's when the Oracle and the Architect, they make a deal with the machines. And then, like, a day later, the one is born. You can either have the one born a couple... Uh, the, the one is born, like, a day later. A day or two days later, the one is born. Some of that. Do that. A day later, the one's born. I don't want to do this to nine months, because I, otherwise you're going to have pacing problems in your story. There's a saying, whenever you write a story, you have to keep the story pacing. You can't drag it on for too long. Otherwise, the the, the, what, the fans can get bored. And so you need to, you need to, you, pacing is, is key, man. You need to keep the story pacing. And I know how to keep the story pacing because I, I have a creative gift. I know how to tell a good story. You might say in Spoken Suit, I mean, yeah, Ivan knows how to keep the story pacing. Yes, I know how to keep the story pacing. Always do your best to try and make every scene, every scene, every dialogue, every scene of, of, of your book or your movie interesting. That way you keep the, the story pacing and you keep the reader hooked. Sorry. Ivan, what is a great story? A great story is what? A quality great story is if you keep the if, if you keep the, the, the viewer or reader hooked. If you keep the reader, viewer, or reader hooked and you tell a quality story, you did your job. You did you wrote a good story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, make it look good pretty much. That's the secret to success for all the directors in Hollywood, obviously. You gotta make it look good. As long as you make it look good and you write a decent a good a pretty good script, you you, you what you obviously have a get you're talented, obviously. You can tell a good story, you know what I'm saying. Peter Jackson knows how to how, how he knew how to what to control your mind and make keep you hooked and, and keep the story pacing and make it look very good. Make it look very good, you know what I'm saying. As long as you make it look good, you did your job, man. The, the audience is entertained. The the two two key things, you need to keep the audience entertained and you need to tell a good story. Because there's some movies that are entertaining to watch, but they're not necessarily great stories. 
Uh, even though that movie was entertaining and I love the action, it wasn't that great. Yeah, like the sequels, obviously. The sequels, I'm not going to lie, they're very entertaining movies, obviously, when you watch them. But but the stories are not that great, hence why I don't like them. It's the worst of the three trilogies, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But you can argue with it has the, the highest spectacle, obviously, because of the technology. So you know I'm saying when you see the technology of, of the sequels, you compare it to the originals, you see a huge difference, obviously. But the originals blows the story out of the water. So, and if the originals were made today, it would blow the prequels and, and, and the sequels out of the water, man. Imagine having Luke in the modern times fighting fucking Vader in an epic battle like that, man. You know what I'm saying? You had the story of Luke as a Jedi and Obi-Wan fighting fucking Darth Vader and New Hope. You're looking at it. It would have been the best trilogy by far. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sims Air. You have to do that, obviously, Sims Air. Because I have the gift, I know how to keep you hooked and I know how to tell an entertaining story. And I, and I know how to tell a good story because I'm born with a gift. I have all, I already know how I want the beginning of my my major movie to start, man. I have, I have like all these like pitches in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you get the flashback of Ke of Keanu Reeves, obviously. The Agent Smith has grown beyond control. He tells him, you cannot stop him, but I can. And if you fail, I won't. And he failed. He couldn't stop Smith. He has. He let Smith carve along to him. And then Smith, so Smith duped the machines. He duped Neo, obviously. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to end it off with Smith. He's like, is it over? You know what I'm saying? And you see the Neil Smith like, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What did Smith mean by saying it's over? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The moment he copies up onto Smith, it was over, obviously. The, the, the virus Smith continued to live on. Yeah, you can find a way to, to, be, to make your story consistent with a copy of story. Yeah. I don't want to tell a good story. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you get like this black screen after that. You get this black screen after that, obviously, and, and it's, it's like the Matrix deja vu. You know what I'm saying? It transfers. You get the scene in Zion, obviously, and it's you say a hundred years later. Hundred years later, and then you watch the, the Zion. Obviously, you see you get the life of the people in Zion, obviously, and you see the grave of Morpheus, Naomi, and all of them. You see like you know all of them, obviously. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You see the grave of Morpheus, all that he died. Morpheus died like 60 years ago, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? And and what? It transfers to the Matrix. And it's like 100 years later in the Matrix. You know what I'm saying? And it transfers to you get these kids. You get like a family. They're at, they're at some event or carnival. And they go to the apartment and the glitch happens. And then when they open their door, they see the brick wall. Like what the fuck is going on? Because a glitch happened in the Matrix, obviously. And when that happens, you see, you see, you see other people around the apartments reacting the same way. You get this glitch in the apartment. Like what the fuck is going on? Deja vu. And there's a glitch in the Matrix. That's when Agent Smith comes back. He gets electricity. Electricity. The program virus forms in human form. You get this green code that forms the body of the of Agent Smith. And but Agent Smith is formed in full adult human form. Whereas the, the one is actually formed as a baby, obviously, because the one is human. You know I'm saying? The one has a, has a birth, obviously, he's born as a baby, whereas the agents are not born as babies. Because they're programmed sentinels, they're not, they're not humans. They're not human at all. Smith looks human, but he's not human, he's a program, he's a program of virus. You know what I'm saying? And agents come in threes or four. You can have the agents come in fours if you want. Something changed this time, the agents came in fours. You have Smith and three agents behind him. You know what I'm saying? And 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 you you get the three agents forming and they they clinch their fish. You get this scary music. You get this like creepy music like da 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 You get this like scary music and you see the agents clinching their fists and they're naked. You know what I'm saying? But you only see the. I'm only I'm, because it's fourteen plus. I'm only gonna have you show their chest area, and you know, like part. You know what I'm saying, remember how in Terminator you didn't see Arnold Schwarzenegger's parts? Yeah, he's naked. But when he they go to this suit store, and like, you know what I'm saying, I'm I'm, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna need a new suit. And he gets a suit, obviously, for himself. Yeah, but I think if you have him appear with his clothes, it's kind of stupid. No, he appears naked. So you have some Terminator symbolism there, but don't copy Terminator. Make it original. You know what I'm saying. Like, the way that the agents form is not the same way as Terminator. No, you have this electricity, and you've got the Matrix code that forms her body. And, like, Smith, 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 Smith is back, obviously. They're like, any anomalies? Like, no anomalies. The last anomaly, the name was Neo. 
deceased a hundred years ago. They say that, you know what I'm saying? There's no anomalies. And a day later, whatever it is, the one is born. The new one is reborn in the matrix, born in the matrix. A new one is born in the matrix. So I'm saying, huh? Because Neo is the sixth one, obviously. I went online, yeah, Neo is the sixth one. And there were six iterations of the Matrix, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But this time, there is no iteration. It's just, it's just, the, the Matrix is just updated and there's a glitch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I am, in other words, I am the lucky one who's, 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 who was meant to really to defeat Smith once and for all. Was Keanu Reeves was, Neo was not lucky. He died, obviously. He sacrificed himself to, to, to save Zion. He couldn't defeat Smith. And he obviously wasn't the lucky, the lucky one. I'm the lucky one. He lost his, the love of his life. Whereas I am the lucky one. I'm saying I do not lose the love of my life. I do not lose my friends like 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 really good, like Morphe's great grandson, Mike B. I don't lose any of those guys. I do lose. I lose like two friends. Obviously, two friends. Obviously, at a price. Obviously, I'm saying. Yeah. And that's why the Warner Bros. Exacts and. Uh, and, 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 VG, and, and, and and what and the cost is gonna be a shock in my story. Holy, holy shit! I even that sounds like a mastery. So you want to make it fourteen plus? Yeah, I'll, I'll have it a little bit darker. The agents are a bit scarier. If you think of something kind of like Terminator? Or I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The agents come back. You get this like Terminator vibe, but it's not Terminator. It's it's Mike Matrix, but like you have some similarities. I even that sounds like a mastery. I even the one is born meant to stop the the, the, the agent Smith. Yeah. I said, holy shit, I mean, yeah, the one being born in the Matrix, yeah. Because, yeah, because, 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 um, Morphe says the one was born inside the Matrix. So what did he mean by that? I don't know, man. Because Keanu Reeves woke up in the real world. Okay, he, he woke up, his body formed, obviously. So the only thing I can think of when the, when the one is born in the real world, obviously, there's this seed, the seed of the one that creates the, the, the baby biologically in, in that goo, whatever it is. Obviously, and then, and then once a baby is created, obviously the machines put the connection on 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 all on the baby, on the back of his head, on his back. Remember how he had he had all these plug connections on him, calories when he woke up. Yeah, you have all these plug connections. Obviously, the moment they plug him, he's born in the, his essence, transfers into the matrix, the the mind of the one, obviously in the ball because the, the you, they they also take human form in the matrix. The baby is also born as a baby in the matrix. It's more machine, right? You get the the code, the, this, this green code thing. You see the skeleton, the green code's forming over the skeleton. You see that that light because he has the anomaly code and it forms the flesh. And the baby cries and the baby is the baby's born, obviously. He has no parents. He's naked and someone finds the baby. And he goes to his house and we can't, we can't, we can't raise this baby. We don't even know who this baby is. What kind of a parent, what kind of a parent would just abandon their child? Leave him in a junkyard or something like that. And we can't put him back where you found him. I can't just leave him in a junkyard by himself. Well, then put him up in the adoption center. And I'm saying, fine. And the guy takes the baby, puts him up in the adoption center, obviously. And the person asks him, he's like, who is this baby? I don't know. Where did you find it? You know what I'm saying? I found it. Here he's like lying. You know what I'm saying? He's like, do you have any record of whose parents? I'm like, no, no record. Oh, this has never been done before, but... He's like, please. Like, he's like, this, this, this baby has no parents. You know, I'm saying, I, I found him. You know, what I'm saying, he, he, no, no, he has no one to raise him. Please. You know, what I'm saying, you need someone to raise this baby. You know, what I'm saying, okay, fine. You know, what I'm saying, they, they give the baby up for adoption. Obviously, and someone, and a couple who wants a baby, they end up adopting the baby and they raise the baby. Obviously, so I'm saying, I'm thinking my parents are white. I have like white parents. You can do that. My parents are white and I'm black, obviously. I have white parents. White white parents, obviously, and what? Yeah. I have white parents. Obviously, yeah, I man. White parents. And they adopt me. Imagine telling that story on a big screen, man. Look at a masterpiece, man. On 8K Blu-ray 2. Because don't forget, I'm making my Matrix movies, guys, for like $660 million. And you're looking at unheard of technology, man. Like something better than even the originals for technology. Yeah, man. Think of action scenes as better than what you got for the original Matrix. And think of technology better. Like a, the world building of the Matrix, the world building of the Zion. A Zion looks updated because it's 100 years later. And the Matrix also looks updated because it's 100 years later, obviously. Even though the Matrix is a computer system, obviously... It's a hundred years that the system's a bit updated, obviously. It looks different. It doesn't look the same like it did a hundred years ago. It's all updated. Seems there. 
Why haven't you want to look futuristic? I want to look a little futuristic, but not too futuristic. You know what I'm saying? So the world of the Matrix is a bit more futuristic. It's 100 years later. And the Zion is also updated too. The Nebuchadnezzar, the, all the ship equipment for the plugging people in the Matrix is all updated. Updated programs for the weapons and clothing. Everything is updated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, you tell a better story, obviously. That's why uh, David Zaslav and the Wakasis are going to be like, Gonna be st you're gonna get this silence, they're like, holy shit, I have not sounds like a masterpiece. Fuck, sign me up. I wanna tell I wanna tell this fucking story, yeah. And I offer them a boatload of money, hence they'll agree to my deal, obviously. Look guys, I'll give you 0.1% of the profits for the first two movies. In the second movie, I'll give you 0.2%. You'll make your nice like 90, 80, 100 million dollars in royalties. You guys, you guys are gonna make a lot of money for my three movies. Is that a good deal, guys? I have that's a good deal. I have one about 0 0.2. I'm like, no, guys. I'm going to give you 0 0.1 for the first two movies. And then by the third movie, they're going to be worth probably about $200 million. So you can give them their 0.2% for the third movie. You give them a good deal like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you're going to make your nice, like, I don't know, 65 million bucks for your first two movies and royalties. And the second movie, you're going to, the third movie, you're going to make your nice, like, $190 million in royalties. It's like, hey, I pay the cost. This is a shovel over money. And they're going to accept my deal. I have into the deal. You're paying us on her amount of money. Yeah, if you want the college sisters to work hard for you and be on, come on board, you have to offer them a lot of money. Offer them an, uh, a rich a rich contract, a, a, a fat deal. And you give them a nice 0.01% of the merch. They can make a nice $4 million for the merch. Okay, because you guys created the Matrix brand, you know what I'm saying? You guys created this brand. You know what I'm saying? It's because of you guys, I'm making this trilogy, obviously. You got, I'll pay you guys a bullet of money. And I'll even give you a nice 0.01% of the profits. Money that even the Hollywood actors don't make. The Hollywood actors all get their flat 250k, and the bigger ones get to 1.5 million dollars. I'm saying I'll give you a nice 0.01. That way you keep them happy and they work hard for you. You could have them write the games if you want, but they're going to be very stressful. You can't have them work on your movie, and work on the game. It's too stressing for them. You can have them consult if you want, or I'll just hire my own story team. Hire the people who did Last of Us to do to 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 to, to do your Matrix game. For the, they're responsible for the story. So what I'll do is I'll give the storyboard people for, for my game a copy of my script. They can study it. That way they have an idea for the story. They follow the story of my of my, of my game, obviously. You see what I'm saying? They follow the story of my game. They follow the story, obviously. They follow the story. You see what I'm saying? Give me a sec, guys. I'm going to go get some coffee. And I'll be back. If you don't want to wait, just... What? Skip the video. Don't hate me. You know what I'm saying?
Sorry for the long wait, guys. You guys waited a good, like, I don't know, four minutes? <laughs> yeah, skip the video if you don't want to wait. I have to use the bathroom. I have to take a, I have to take a leak. And I went upstairs and I got my coffee. Yeah. So, yeah. So, before I talk about the Matrix deal, as usual, with, with Warner Bros. Office, I'm going to talk about Rab right here. So, if, when I have that talk with VJ, and if I decide to start a game division for my games, which I most, Rabbit already knows, uh, which I most likely will, high chance I, I change my mind. I'm, I, I want to make games, man. If, if as long as Rabbit plays the game, I want to make a game, and I want to get that unheard of Unreal Engine experience for my Zayn's game, and my especially my Matrix game. Remember that Unreal Engine technology that Epic's 5 created? The demo reel they did? Yeah, think of technology like that for my Matrix game, guys. <laughs> you tell that story with a one, you're looking, and you have Rabat playing that, the whole world going crazy. Look at something crazy, man. Looking at crazy buzz. Hey, VJ, what do you think of this guy, Rad Brad? Yeah, 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 I mean, he's pretty interesting. You know, so yeah, yeah, VJ, he's the best of the best on YouTube. There's no one better than Rabbit for doing a YouTube walkthrough. We can hire him and have him be our, our walkthrough guy. We can, have, we can build an office for him. We can get the best recording software for Rabbit, and we'll have Rabbit edit his own videos. I think it's best Rabbit edits his own videos. That way he knows what's best for, 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 for his walkthroughs, obviously. He won't my eye, and I prefer to edit my own videos anyways. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think it's a good idea for me to just have you record and hand it off to an editor. No, I think it's best you edit your own video, Rabbit. I don't pay you $100,000 for nothing. I'm going to put you to work. You do your walkthrough, and you also have to edit your videos. And after you edit your videos, your parts for that day, you're off. You know what I'm saying? You're off, obviously. You can go to the bar, have a beer, and see a movie on theaters, and, 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 and yeah. And I'll have a trailer for him to sleep in my property. So Rabbit will be sleeping in my property, obviously. I'll have a, a nice trailer for him, a nice brand new trailer for him to sleep. I'm not going to have him stay in a hotel. No, you're wasting money. Have him sleep in a, in a trailer. He'll be in my Grand Smithsonian property, obviously. And he'll, I'll have an office for him in my, in my, in, in, in my, in my, in my game development building, obviously. A small little office, not a luxury office, no, but a nice quality office. He has a desk. He has his. He has a professional setup. I'm gonna call it Rab Brad's office. Rabbit's like, I I get my own office item. Yeah, Rabbit, you get your own nice small little office. Hey, you'll be my walkthrough guy. Hey, Richard, what do you think of him? I, I I think he's good. I think he's good, Ivan. Okay, okay, okay. I'll tell my seconds. Okay, find Rab Brad's email. I'm pretty sure he has an email somewhere. Find his email on his Twitter, whatever it is. Contact him and tell him Ivan Ivan and Vijay. Hey, hey, Rad Brad. Hey, Brad. Hey, yeah. This this is uh this is this and this. We're we're the we're we're, we're, we're the secretaries. We work for Skyfus, obviously. Yeah, I, Ivan is gonna Ivan is interested. Ivan and Vijay are, go, are going to be making a Zanus game, an Unreal Engine Five technology Zanus game. Rab is like Unreal Engine Five technology Zanus game. He's like he's like what? Yeah, they're gonna make an Unreal Engine Five Zanus game, and a Matrix Unreal Engine Five Zanus game. Yeah, they wanna they wanna hire a walkthrough guy. To do a walkthrough for for, 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 for 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 their games. Are you interested? Ivan's willing to fly you in. He's willing. He's willing to discuss terms. He's willing to pay you a lot of money. Are you interested? Rabbit's like I'm. In, I'm. I'm interested. He's obviously gonna be interested. Obviously, you know. What I'm saying okay, okay, okay. And the agents are gonna are gonna set the meeting up with Rabbit. Okay, Rabbit. On this day, I, oh, I Ivan will fly you from Atlanta to Vancouver, and he's gonna discuss the uh the the, the contract obviously the, the the term and the deals obviously. Some Sarah, and I'm not gonna call Rabbit until it's official. It is official. Like once I hire, I'm not gonna call Rabbit until I hired all my development guys, and I hired what? I'm not gonna call Rabbit until I hired all my development guys, my storyboard team. Once they're all hired, it's official. And they begin working on the game. It's, it's official. I'm gonna make the game now. I will. I will. I will now hire Rabbit. To, 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 I'll, I'll call Rabbit and I'll, I'll hire him, obviously. And he'll obviously accept my deal because he he wants to be saved. He doesn't want to be left behind and. And what, $600,000 is a lot of money for a fucking walkthrough. As Rabbit probably makes around, around, I don't know. I don't know how much he makes, but my guess is he makes around like that 200K to maybe 800K range around there he makes, right? He probably has different years. I don't know, one year, some years he might hit it big and make 900K. Other years he might make on average four or 500K. My guess is Rabbit probably makes at least a good 500 plus thousand, 400 plus thousand dollars a year he makes. He's rich, obviously. He has 13 million followers and he gets 100,000 views. He's, and he, get, he has a lot of... Support for his merch. He makes a lot of money, obviously. Hence why, he, he, you know what I'm saying? As Rabbit will not accept $80,000 for a walker. He's going to ask for more money. And he, if he accepts it, chances are he won't work as hard. He'll be like, yeah, Ivan's fucking cheap. He only paid me 80 k 80 k is a nice paycheck for a three-week walker, but like $80,000 over taxes is what? It's like $48,000. 
You see what I'm saying? With the rates, Robert's walk only 38 grand. That's a nice paycheck, obviously, but like that 38 grand, you can easily blow in like a year. Whereas if you get 600K, that's a nice paycheck. That can last you for two, three years, man. No, 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 like I'm saying, it can last you for three years. Because you're walking only the nice, like, couple hundred thousand dollars in your bank. That's a nice paycheck. That's going to last Rad Brad for, for a good, like, two, one, two, three. Depends how he blows his money. My guess is he blows his money, obviously. It's going to last him at least a good two, three years. And he can live a great life with that, with, 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 with that, with that money, man. You feed his family. You pay for his, his daughter's school. You know what I'm saying? You pay for his daughter's school. He can feed his family. He can do good things with that money, man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could have Rad full time if I want. I can have him just be my full-time guy, obviously. But if to have him full-time, he's going to ask for my money. If you want me full-time, you have to pay me like 900000 a million if you want me full-time. But I'm not going to pay. I'm not gonna, I don't need him full-time because I'm only going to have him do walkthroughs for my games every couple years. I don't need So he's a part-time guy. I don't need him to be full-time. And I don't want Rabbit to quit his YouTube thing, man. I want, like, there's a lot of good games that are coming out in the future. I want Rabbit to play those games. You know what I'm saying? Even though he'll be the side tension, don't hate me. You know what I'm saying? I want Rabbit to play those... Uh, to play those games, obviously. Hence why, I, okay, Rabbit, I'll have you be a part-time guy, and you can still do your YouTube thing full-time, but I'll have you be part-time. I'll fly to Vancouver. I'll have my professional game recording set up for you, and you, you record your videos, you edit it, and once you're done filming the game, and you edit all your videos, you upload them, obviously. You can, you can what? You, you, I can end it off with a party, and I can fly you back home. Fly you back home, and you can do your YouTube thing and spend time with your family, obviously. Show my camera here.